We got some pants. Peekaboo. I don't stay countryside in a house by myself. I've seen too many scary movies. I don't do that, okay? I need to hear an ambulance and police and people screaming on the street for me to feel <laughs> safe. Safe. <laughs> If I hear absolutely nothing, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in big, big trouble here. Happy first day of spring, where it's a nice bombing 30 degrees outside. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> you remember the lady, what's her name? Uh, something about Mary. Remember the old lady who would not stop tanning? She looked like leather. Look at my teeth! Okay, tonight we're at Art Production Fun. I am sitting at Todd's table. I'm also on the benefit committee. This is Stephanie. We call her Stein. Stephanie and I work out together and we go way, way back. We do. Okay, but wait. She just told us to take these shoes, so we're gonna have to roll them and put them in our bag. <laughs> so let's see. Maybe we should just wear them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, first of all, these shoes are one size, they're one size too small. Todd sent me a size 37, but I wear a 38. So let's try and see if I can fit these in my bag. First of all, we all know I love house shoes. I think I could do it. I have extra tissue paper in here. So if we get rid of the tissue paper, we can fit it in the bag. What? I mean, I, you cannot put that. Technically, we're not Are stealing because they told us to take it. Okay, look. Boom. Look at that. Okay, now let's just do a little bit of lip. How would they know? No, you're good. How would they know? been going on last time we talked i was at the art production fund and let me just tell you that was a fun night except the next day i was hurting i cannot do more than two drinks your girl did like i think i did two dirty martinis and that was horrible um so anyways let me keep my voice down because i'm getting a lymphatic drainage massage today let me use the bathroom first because I, ever since I got back from Europe, I've been feeling super puffy. But, you know, I'm a big fan of lymphatic drainage massages. Um, let me use the bathroom. <laughs> let me call you back. Maybe they put it in here because we're at the farmer's market. London, tell everybody where we are. The farmer's market. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab some mush. Oh, look at these oyster mushrooms. Okay guys, we are at the farmer's market upstate and everything looks delicious. Delicata squash, I love, with a little bit of um, Mike's hot honey on it. I would never try steak and Daikon radish. I mean, these are straight out of the 
like kale chips. No, this is this is not the same pack. CBD flower, organic hemp, full spectrum stress. What do you do? You make a tea out of it? Ooh, CBD joints help manage pain, inflammation, and improve. But is there THC in it? Some super enjoy benefits taken with water or right on the tongue. Honey, did you see if there's jam in here? <laughs> Oh, I can use this for tea, camel milk tea. Happy weekend, everyone. Oh my God, look at all my freckles are like starting to come out. Um, I am in the house trying to figure out, I feel like this is like the never ending renovation. And let me tell you, the reason why I don't mind taking so long to do all of these things is because we don't have a timeline because we actually don't live here full time. So I promised myself like I am going to take my time with this house and do everything it is that I really want to do. I'm just not going to buy stuff just to buy it. Like I want to be more intentional with this home. Hold on, sorry, I see some cracks in the wall that are driving me nuts. And I wanna make sure that I really like it. Like it took me forever to pick out a marble slab for the fireplace. This is, this is not going here. This is just something that we needed to grab really quickly. But the stone, it literally, it took me about a year to pick out this stone. And then of course we had everything painted, my husband painted everything, and then the house started settling or doing whatever, and of course it cracked. So now this part has to be fixed. But nevertheless, like, the stone is so, so beautiful, especially when we get a really nice, this is gonna be different. Um, I think it's gonna be more of like just a piece of glass and open, but I have so much of my uncle's artwork. So it's not, this particular piece is not gonna go here, but I'm looking for places to put his art. Like my uncle was an amazing artist. My mom was a very good artist. So I'm trying to figure out, I was fortunate enough, his, my uncle's kids gave me some of his art and I'm trying to figure out where I can put it. Sadly, this piece is too small to put right here. So I would like to put it somewhere in my home. I just don't know where. And then my mom, she has a few pieces and she never painted on that scale. But there are tons of things in this box that were pieces that my mom did. And my mom was super talented. My mom and my uncle are brother, were brother and sister. And sadly, they passed away, I think, maybe two to three months apart. So that was pretty sad. But I am very, very fortunate to have their artwork. And I would like to, I don't know, I would like to have a very beautiful space to keep their pieces. I feel like that would mean so much to my family and to have like this this elaborate home because I don't come from a family of of elaborate homes and things like that so to be more intentional and um, set it up in a way where it is it's just so beautiful and it's curated so nicely that would mean the world to me okay so we just came in from brunch and me in here doing my thing I'm actually going to take off because I have to do my taxes I can't stand doing my taxes. So my bookkeeper gave me a bunch of stuff that I have to go through. So I'm gonna go through those things. I don't know if I showed you my dining room table chairs. Okay, so I had these made. They were found on first dibs and they looked completely different. They're very heavy. And then we got them upholstered to this beautiful fabric. Let me try and get a little closer. You can see it. Um, and they're very, very heavy. 
I love the back detailing of them. Let's see that. So this is not the table that is going to go here. This is actually our outdoor, our temporary outdoor table. I already ordered a new outdoor table. So this one I'm either going to have to sell or ideally I would like to sell it or try and give it away. But for right now, since we don't have our dining room table, we're just using that. And then the, the wallpaper in this room is also going to be changed. Um, I couldn't stand this wallpaper at first but now it's growing on me. However, I'm really uncomfortable with the wallpaper close up. I don't, I don't think it's cool. Like this whole situation, I, I don't like that. Like, I, I don't know, up close is, it's not what I was, it's not given what I, what I wanted to give. I, I think there's some cultural appropriation going on here. Uh, it's not really for it's not really for me. So I'm gonna take all this wallpaper out, but I do like the idea of having wallpaper here, but it's not gonna go, it's not gonna flow well with the house, especially because the kitchen is going to be more modern. I think we're gonna start the kitchen. They said the cabinets won't be ready until July, which sucks because we're here in the summer, but maybe we can, we're gonna have to cook on a hot plate or something. Let me see, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. This house is going to be completely different though. This is what it looks like with the wallpaper. I would choose a different wallpaper if we did go that route, but I also think if I did the wallpaper, it's not gonna be as cohesive as I want it to be. And I wanna put this like very amazing piece of my uncle's right on this wall. And then when you look down this, just because this area is gonna be a little bit modern, the kitchen is more modernized. It's gonna be some beautiful marble. Oh, I just ordered my stove too. Oh, I'm trying to get a dining room table made out of this marble slab that I love. So I had these chairs made based off of the table. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I felt like the chairs were gonna go really quickly, so I had to snag them. And I got a really good price for them and then reupholstered re them. Um, so the, the slab that I want is made out of this gorgeous, gorgeous Italian marble. And I've been trying to get this particular table made. I swear to you, the last quote I got was $42,000 and I'm like, I'm not spending $42,000 on a table. I can't do it. Like <laughs> get somebody else to do it. I can't do it. So now I'm trying to figure out what kind of table I'm going to get. Once again, the paint and whatever we do here needs to be cohesive with the cigar room. No, we do not smoke cigars, but that's just what it's called, unless they change the name. Oh, London, you're here? So this is the cigar room. I personally love the wood in here. I think that we should take this wallpaper off. Like I already started peeling it back to see what it was. Like it's just some plywood underneath here. So I really like the dark wood, completely redo this. This is going to be taken out completely and this will be taken out. I want to do like an emerald green marble bar and just like a monochrome emerald green vibe in here maybe like velvet greens in the couch something that's very rich and beautiful but dark and i have a beautiful piece of art to put right here um new fireplace all of that will be done over but whatever it is it has to be super cohesive with the rest of the house because the house flows so well but that is it with this floor hi I love how much sun you get in here. This is so nice. All right, let me go ahead and do my taxes. I'll call y'all back. Okay, I said I was going to call you guys back, and then I ended up back in Brooklyn. Um, uh, you know me. All over the place with vlogs. But happy Monday. Back in the office. We have a lot to do this week. We are going to get our nails done. Um, wait, first of all, wait, real quick. I got my nails done the other day at some random spot and they had a sign that says that they sell, they don't sell, they serve canned beer, not canned, just C-A-N, canned beer and hard seltzer. And then it says, just ask, <laughs> which I thought was so funny. But 
I did this on my nails, this color, this dark color, and it is not gel. I didn't do any gel at all. I just wanted a regular manicure. And she was like, oh, try this. It's called Dazzle or something. And I'm like, mm. she goes, $40. I said, $40 for a manicure? Like, it's not like just a regular manicure. She goes, don't worry. It won't chip for two weeks. I said, I don't believe this lady. Like, people would stay looking at me thinking they can get over on me, right? Obviously, they can because I was like, sure, I'll try it. <laughs> she was not lying. My nails usually chip the next day whenever I get a manicure. Always. If I don't get gel, they always chip. I'm so rough. This has been on my nails for not eight or nine days, and it has not chipped. I'm so impressed that. I need to Google exactly where I went because I need to go back to go get another manicure. I think it was worth the $40. Um, let's see, what else? We need to go get eyebrows done. Um, we are going to Mexico for spring break. May was in here, she was so concerned. <laughs> so concerned because I'm so last minute. I didn't, I didn't book the trip, I just kept saying, we're gonna go somewhere. For and weeks though. For weeks, I just didn't <laughs> I'm know. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere and I had the dates, right? And I was like, we are going somewhere on the 22nd. And we, I mean like me and the family, cause it's their spring break. And so May is like, where? And I was like, hmm, maybe Mexico, maybe Jamaica, maybe Costa Rica, I don't know. So I'm very, very spontaneous with the trips. Anyway, finally booked a flight on Saturday. <laughs> And now we are going to Mexico. But first, before we go to Mexico, I have to go to Miami. And then I'm gonna fly straight into Mexico to meet the family. Um, but let me tell you a story. Okay, so I'm upstate in the house, right? I was, I was upstate maybe a few weeks ago for one of my neighbor's baby showers. So I ended up spending a night upstate by myself. I usually will not stay in that house by myself more because I don't stay countryside in a house by myself. I've seen too many scary movies. I just, I don't do that, okay? I need to hear an ambulance and police and people screaming on the street for me to feel safe. safe. <laughs> <laughs> if I can hear people fighting on the street, ambulances and cop cars, I feel very safe. <laughs> if I hear absolutely nothing, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in big, big trouble here. So I spent a night upstate by myself. I'm in the bed. It's super late and I hear <laughs> and all of these like, like clawing, like clawing. And I'm like, okay, Yoshi, relax. I'm like, what is happening? So I keep hearing it and I go, maybe there's bats on my roof because I do have bats on my roof. Okay, Yoshi wants to join. I do have bats on my roof. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's bats. But then they're like scurrying all over the place that I could not figure it out and it was scaring me. So then I got up to like investigate a little bit and it just seemed at the end, I was just like, there must be raccoons that are on my roof. Fast forward. So yesterday I go into the closet to go get some clothes that I have not touched in forever. So I got a pair of jeans. I took the jeans off of the shelf and all of these like things fell out of it. Like these little tiny seeds. I didn't know what they were, like pellets. They looked like little pellets and they fell to the floor. It was like, <laughs> it was like, like imagine like, you know, you know how you do beading and you know, like bead yourself a bracelet and they're really small. Now imagine like knocking over the beads and the beads scatter all over the floor. Like, it was like that. And I'm looking around, I was like, what is that? And I, and I pick them up, they're all super small. And I'm thinking like, I'm from New York. So I was like, is this rat poop? <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, right. I was like, we have an infestation of rats. <laughs> what is going, like, what is this? And then I was like, okay, it's not, I'm looking at it. I'm not touching, I'm just looking at it. And I was like, okay, it's not rat poop. And then I'm like, Okay, is there, was there moths that laid eggs, but they're too big? Like, I, I had so many questions. I'm like, what is this, right? So anyways, I have no idea what is from, whatever it is. They're little tiny, like, I'm start, now I'm starting to realize, like, they look like they might be seeds. So I, I clean it all up, I put it in the garbage. No, that evening, I 
grab some stuff out of the closet, but it was on the hanger this time. I grabbed it and put it over my arm, right? To bring it downstairs to fold it. What is going on in this closet? Tons of these little seeds come hanging out. And I was like, what is going on? Like, what are these seeds? <laughs> What's happening? So I go to my husband and I'm like, do you know what these are? And he goes, they look like seeds. I go, I know, but from where? Where are these coming from? I said, they're in my pockets. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, they're in my in my jeans. Like, I don't understand. He goes, I think we have squirrels living inside the attic. And I go, come again. <laughs> what do you mean we have squirrels? He's like, I think there's a nest or something. I heard like all of the scratch. I was like, I told you. But anyway, he's like, I heard all of the scratching. He's like, I think they're inside like the grand area of our living room. He's like, I think they live in there. And I think what they're doing is they're taking yes. seeds and they're <laughs> hibernating it in my clothes. <laughs> they're hibernating the seeds in my clothes. So now I'm like, they're gonna be mad as I took out all their food. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more in that closet. I didn't investigate. But I'm like, I need to put a camera. We're going to get a camera. And we're going to put a camera in the closet to see if we can find some squirrels hiding seeds in the pockets of my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane to me. It's insane. Like, living in New York, you don't have to worry about squirrels hiding seeds in your pockets. But in the country, you do. I don't know. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Because the country girl in me, I, I didn't know what it was. Again, I thought it was rat poop at one point. And I'm like, we don't even have rats. We have field mice out there or whatever they call them. All right, anyway, I have some packages. Let's open up some packages. And uh, you have to call first. But... Oh, I have a call. Thank you. What time is it? It's 12, 11.58. I got a call in 15 minutes. Let me be an adult, take some work calls, and I'll call you back. All right, let's open up some packages. Oh, did I ever tell you? Wait, the toilet is in the way. Hold on. <laughs> Why don't I looking at the toilet? Remember when we did that Old Navy campaign? Um, it ended up coming out. May, can you please put that in there? Yep. But I want to show you what it looked like. It's so cute. I think the kids did such a good job. But Old Navy ended up sending us everything that we shot in that campaign. Five, six, seven, eight. We were splashed across their homepage. <laughs> We're stars. We are stars. No, um, it was really cute. It's really nice to work with your family. And I think that is really important for your children, one, to see you working, and two, like to experience that with you. I just, I'm a big fan of teaching your children work ethic. Like, I get it. I might have Nepo babies on my hands, but at least they're hard workers. And to be honest, London is technically not a Nepo baby because if it wasn't for her, I don't even think I would have started this whole journey of blogging and everything. Like the blog Scout the City is named after her and she's been working since she was young. So kudos to Lennon. Let's clap it up for her. Okay, so this is from Old Navy. This is like, it's a skirt. And I think this would look really cute with a triangle top a bikini. And then you can also add it with this little outfit here I mean this little top here I also think that this top would go really well with some wide leg pants right and just like easy breezy sunglasses picture that little cute top for Rio I was gonna shop for us to go to Mexico but now I have all of this stuff like a shop for what for what old baby Old Navy to the rescue. London got a cute little bikini. By the way, they have really cute, like, um, there's like a chic black bikini. Yoshi. Yoshi wants to go downstairs so bad. He's, it's killing my vibe. Killing my vibe. 
Okay, I'll leave some links to Old Navy down below with the stuff that we shot, but what time is it? Because you know my call is soon. <laughs> all right, I'm giving you angles. You like the way we're all moving around this office? Angles, baby. Okay, let's open up one more thing and then I have to take this call. This one is, I believe, from Dior. All I have is the kids construction paper scissor thingy jingy. Woo! I feel like Dior's packaging is always so, like they do such a great job. They're doing work downstairs in my, in my closet because I have a leak. London takes the longest showers ever and they start leaking into my closet. So we're trying to figure that out. Ooh! I have all the Miss Dior blooming bouquet. Um, Missed your perfume. So these are two different. Oh, this is new. The blooming bouquet is new. And then we have this Miss Dior perfume. Very nice. Thank you, Fine. Let's see what it says. This is Miss Dior. Hashtag Miss Dior live out loud. Flowers dominated by the intensity of a custom crafted fruity jasmine with sparkling, elegant, sweet, and juicy notes. Very nice. Okay, London loves Miss Dior, so let's keep this away from her. Okay, let me call you guys back because we gotta get a call. I just came back in from getting my eyebrows done. I didn't even bother to vlog in there because this lady, this lady kept trying to sell me stuff and I was getting so irritated. Like, I get it, that's their job. But this, it's not, this is my second time going to this eyebrow place. It's a brow bar and they keep trying to sell me the product and I'm like, I don't need it. She was like, oh, you know, you have spaces in your eyebrows. You can use this product to make it grow back. I'm like, lady, my eyebrows don't grow. That's why I got microbladed. <laughs> I'm like, I tried everything. Anyway, I know it's her job. I'm not giving her a hard time, but I was just, and she, she was just like a very awkward saleswoman. You know, it, it made me feel awkward. So we were both like, She's like, but you know, you can buy this. And I was like, oh, I don't need it. And then she'll get real silent. And she goes, okay. And then I said, um, you know, I showed her break the ice. I was like, oh, you know, I have something very similar at home. She goes, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I swear, only, I, I feel like it's only me that this shit happens to. All right, we got some packages. I went and picked up some more mail. We didn't even get through the first set of packages, but okay, wait, first, this is from, this is from Lafayette. Is this a gift? Let's see. I don't know if this is supposed to be something that I am shooting. Okay, we have this beautiful white button down. You can never go wrong with white button downs. Wait, Jenny asked you about a white button down, remember that? No. It's like, what style do you like? Oh. Up here. Oh, I love the pants. Pants seems very chic. Okay. Let's see where we're going with this. And then this top. Oh my gosh, wait! Look how chic! It is a gift. That's a flex. Yeah. I love an initial on, on a shirt. Like either here on the rib area or here. Like I love an initial. That is so cute. I have to photograph that. Very chic. Thank you, Lafayette. Okay, let me show you what I'm going to bring with me to Miami. Okay, we got lots of stuff, children. I got this bathing suit top. This is a medium. I hope this fits. I usually need a larger size in the cup. Okay, so we're going to Miami with LaJance and um, my friend who owns LaJance, Tara, is launching swim. So this is going to be a very fun trip. So I got an extra small in these and they match this top, chic, and then we got some pants, peekaboo. These look good, this could be cute together. Also, this wraparound situation. 
beach cover up and then I got a white button down because I feel like you can never go wrong with a white button down in a bathing suit. These beautiful pants because we're doing a lunch. What about this? What about these pants with this bathing suit and this blazer? <gasps> and then for the evening, I'm doing this little dress. So I will pack all of these things and I just need to find some shoes. We'll pack in a little bit. Okay, I don't usually comb her hair this fast. I usually comb it in sections, but to be honest, we are in a rush because Ikea is downstairs to braid her hair and her hair is not that tangled today. So I'm just trying to get through it really quickly. So don't judge me. Thank goodness it's not bad. Yeah. All right, let's see. How you doing? I don't know. I don't want to look at myself until the end. I want to be surprised. It looks so good. <laughs> My knees. I think you just need to stretch. It looks good. Let me see. Looks so cute. I love it. Oh my God, your hair is so long. Happy first day of spring, where it's a nice bombing 30 degrees outside. I am cold. Let's get a coffee, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go get a spray tan. I look crazy, right? All right, kitties, got a coffee. Let's go get a tan. Guys, I'm dark as hell. <laughs> Looking like the copper tone, baby. Okay, for the most part, I think it looks, it looks pretty good. Bitch, look at me. <laughs> I look crazy right now. <laughs> I look like one of those. You remember the lady? What's her name from? Um, dang, you know, something about Mary. Remember the old lady who would not stop tanning? She looked like leather. Look at my teeth. <laughs> My teeth look white for the first time. I swear whenever I get a spray tan and I don't get them very often, I think I've gotten them twice in my life. Um, I always look so nuts at first, but I have eight hours that I can, actually she said I can wash it off in three hours, but if I wash it off, don't use any soap. After eight hours, I can take a full like shower with soap. So this will tone down on my face. I told her don't go too hard on my face because you got your girl out here looking crazy. <laughs> we can all just laugh because some of the stuff that women do is, it's kind of silly, isn't it? It's a little on the silly side. All right, it's freezing. I'm going to head back to the house. I'm in here getting my 
um, hair done. I'm going downstairs to get a quick water break. But do you see this tan? <laughs> Let me get by the by the side. I kind of look like I got caught in a cave and I've been there for a really long time. <laughs> this, and then it's all blotchy over here. Mind you, this is the tan when, you know, how they spray it on and you can't wash it off yet. I have a couple more hours and then I can officially wash it off. But let's go see the kids' reactions because they just got home. Rio, what do you Tell think? Your mother, the color of her face, Rio. I don't want to look be rude. It. No. You see the double take he did. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but you look like a potato. What's wrong? You're tan too much. Oh. You literally look like a potato. I love you so much, Mommy. Did I go overboard? I love you too, sweetie. Yes, you did. You think I went overboard? Yes, it's too tan. It's okay. Mommy, your you so? Mommy, your yeah. tan looks amazing. You don't like it? No, it looks Rio's beautiful. Not that much. It looks beautiful. What? It looks like a potato. I think you guys don't know what you're talking about. I look like a goddess. How's the tan looking? The tan, the hair, but the teeth, it's the teeth because the teeth look so white. <laughs> tan. The tan is crazy. Okay, but my hair is almost done. Like he is in here flying. You're doing a good job, sweetie. <laughs> doing great, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. And then after that, we're gonna shower and we're gonna see what this looks like. Like, as you can see, I have some patchiness going on. It's like real dirty under the neck. So once we take a shower, all of this should come off and then the tan will start gradually looking better. But TBD, TBD. All right, good morning. We made it to the airport. So this morning I woke up at 4, 4.15 and I had to do last minute things like toiletries, underwear, whatever, and put it in the bag. But girl, before you knew it, I looked at the clock and it was like 5.15, I'm supposed to leave at five. I was like, oh my God, and my flight's at seven. So I ended up leaving at like 5.20, 5.20 or something, you know, it's spring break. I was hoping that the airports weren't gonna be too crowded. And um, I got to the airport in 20 minutes, got here, the clear line was out the door. So it went in sky priority. Sky priority was two minutes, it took me two minutes. So now I have enough time to go grab a tea, but I'm going to leave you here and catch you next week in Miami. So thanks for hanging out with me this week. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Catch you soon. Deuces.